Australia's greats, crowned the clown prince of hip hop, became known for his comical rhymes. The late Biz Markey, a Long Island native, created a whole new spin on rap music. A new documentary airing on Showtime, All Up in the Biz, chronicles his young life, including the untimely death of his mother, his time in foster care, and his rise to fame. Take a look. He was like, yo, I got this idea for this song. And he starts singing. Oh, baby, you tell I need. He was the music, he was the style, he was all the aspects of hip hop. Joining us now is the widow of Biz Markey and executive producer of All Up in the Biz, Tara Hall. It is so nice to meet you. So nice to meet yeah. you as well. Thank you for having me. It is our pleasure. And look, we're celebrating 50 years of hip hop. There's no way we could do that without giving props to Biz Markey. I got to ask you, what would he think about all this? Oh, my. Biz would love all of this. <laughs> You know, I, I don't know if you know Biz or have ever met him, but he was big. He was a big body. He had a big head. He had a huge voice. When he walked in, he just lit every room up. You know, he, he would be on every single one of these stages, <laughs> you know, tearing down the place. He was the life of the party? He was the life of life. Absolutely, for sure. Do you think he had any inkling? I mean, look, he's, he saw... Um, you know, he started in this, all of this, and then he saw where it came from, he passed. Did he have a sense of the impact that hip hop had on, on the culture worldwide? I don't think so. I, I just think he loved music. I think he just loved to make music. He appreciated all kinds of different music, you know, from, from, from you know, rap to rock and roll to classical music. He just loved music. Biz used to have a uh, tattoo on his arm, mm -hmm. and it said, I am music. Okay. Biz just was himself, and he just loved what he did, and that was that. I don't think he thought about, oh, I'm making an impact. Uh -huh. You know, I just think yeah. he just was a guy that loved music and helped him escape a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And this, this uh, documentary, All Up in the Biz, why is it important to you to see his story told? Biz was always the underdog. Mm -hmm. It took him so much to get the things that, that he had. I don't know if you know the story about um, the song, Just a Friend. Mm -hmm. You know, he wrote this song. He tried to get, you know, all these greats to, to, to sing the hooks, you know, like Al B. Shore and, and Keith Sweat and, and all kinds of guys, you know, like real song, song folks. And nobody believed in the song mm -hmm. and everybody shut the door on him they're like oh biz this is like you know a horrible idea you know <laughs> what are you thinking and biz just didn't give up so he was the one that ended up singing the hook himself because mm -hmm. he believed so much in that song and the song just wouldn't be the same if anybody else sang that no, hook. when you when you think about it now you go really he wanted them <laughs> to do it it just wouldn't be the same because it was his style and he I mean when it come to beatboxing was there anybody better uh, he, 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 he there was, there, nobody beats the biz let's yeah. say that mm -hmm. yeah. I what I've found interesting because there obviously I didn't know all these things I didn't realize he grew up in foster care I didn't know that I didn't know he lost his mother so early and um, that just really makes his story all that much more powerful, don't you think? I definitely think so. And these are the things that people are going to learn. You know, when, when you see the film, um, there's a stigmatism to foster care. Mm -hmm. And there shouldn't be, you know. And, and uh, that's what we're going to shed light on, you know, through the foundation. Uh, Biz, yes, his Just a Friend Foundation. That's one of the things that really has grown out of your love for him um, and, and his sense of uh, the importance of being able to give back because of 
those life experiences, no? Oh, absolutely. You know, Biz has always been a, a philanthropist. A lot of people didn't know that, you know, when Biz would walk out the door, you know, sometimes he would give people money. Sometimes he would pay for people's food. Sometimes he would, you know, give his sneakers that were like, you know, in his trunk. Mm -hmm. You know, so he was always a giving person, always. So through the foundation, you know, we're going to continue Biz, Biz's legacy, his giving legacy, you know, like that. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about the uh, Just, Just a Friends uh, Foundation, uh, what you guys do. And I know you, you have a partnership uptown uh, yes. in Harlem. Yes, with Harlem Dowling uh, Center for Children and Family Services. Mm -hmm. They have been around since the 1800s, you know, helping the community. And uh, we gave them a call. You know, I looked for a company, you know, like theirs, because their company is kind of like the company that helped Biz mm -hmm. when he grew up in foster care. Now, they're, they're not a foster care, exactly. you know, uh, business, but I actually looked for Biz's, you know, original, you know, foster uh uh, foster care agency foster care agency and you know they're not around but Harlem Downing they've been around since the 1800s yeah. and uh, they are changing the name of their their pantry the Bismarcky emergency food pantry mm -hmm. it's perfect yeah it is so perfect. So every Friday, you know, I'll be out there. I, I can't say every Friday, yeah. but I'm going to be out there, you know, putting on my net and, you know, helping the community and feeding the community mm -hmm. in Biz's name and Biz's honor, for sure. Why is it so important to you to keep that part of his life? Because, look, most people think Biz Markey, they think music, they think about beat, beatboxing, they think about just a friend. Why is it important for you to keep that part of his legacy alive? That's who Biz was. That was his character. Biz was always giving. Uh, you know, somebody asked me, you know, what's a word that describes Biz the best? And he was generous. Mm -hmm. Not so much, you know, with, with money and this type of stuff. He was, he was generous with, you know, his expertise. He was mm -hmm. generous with his, his body. He was generous in, in, you know, all kinds of different things. So the foundation is also, we're going to be generous as well. Yeah. That was your hope. You are an executive producer on All Up in the Biz. I am. What was that experience like? Well, I mean, you loved this man. To, to see his life on film, essentially. Well, first of all, uh, Sasha Jenkins, you know, is the director. And he really held my hand through this entire process. Mm -hmm. Biz and I uh, were very private people personally so it was really tough you know to hand over my personal pictures and hand over my personal footage but Sasha just you know kept reminding me how important it is to tell this man's full story mm -hmm. and that's what we did it, it was it was a cathartic uh, experience for me for sure and you happy with that final product so happy mm -hmm. so happy I, I just can't wait for everybody to see it you're, you're gonna walk away you're gonna cry you're gonna walk away wanting to know more mm -hmm. um, he was just a wonderful individual yeah talented the class talented. Clown. funny <laughs> I laughed every day with Biz, every day. Uh, people, you know, they always ask me, well, was he the same at home mm -hmm. as he was on stage or, or in public? Yes. Yes, he was. All right. And that's a wonderful thing to be able to say. I want to send folks to bizmarkeysjustafriend.org. That's the foundation. You can find out all the great work that you guys are doing. Tara, thank you for sitting down with us this afternoon and for sharing the legacy of this man that you love so much. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. We'll be right back.